so i assume by now you are good with creation of developer instance for yourself and having a high level understanding of how to create an incident with the mandatory fields and how to update an incident in the service now so let's go ahead and try to automate this in order to do that we should have some packages as a part of our workflow let's see what are they here i am using your path team dot service now dot activities so i am using this activity you can install this package into your local so once done you can see the following activities which are related to service now so these are the activities which you can see as a part of that package installation so in this demo we are going to look into the activities which are related to incident those are add delete get incident list and update incident so let's look at them one by one so first of all as a part of requirement for creating an incident we know that we should have short description and the caller as the mandatory fields so here i am taking in all these fields in order to create uh, the incidents in the service now let's look at it how we can do that so in order to do that we should establish a connection between ui path and service now so how can we create a connection between them we have an activity called service now application scope which you have to get from here and here once after you create the connection it will show connection successful so for that you have to provide the username and the password let me just give my username and password these are the ones which will be generated at the time of the instance so you have to provide them here i have provided my username and password and you have to give the endpoint you can give your instance as the endpoint and that's all we are good now it is showing the connection is valid so we have established the connection i wanted to create the incident so i will just go to incident and i am going to take add incident as a part of do and i'm going to configure the parameters so what parameters i wanted to give but before that first i have to read my csv file and then i will be giving an output to the data table which is uh, dt and now i am going to create an incident for all the items inside the data table so i will take for each row and i will create i'm going to add parameters what are the parameters i'm going to take from this you can just directly give from here which is short description description then impact and finally caller right so so as soon as i selected i have got all these here and now i wanted to mention so in the same way i'll be updating for all other fields so this has to be same as your excel whatever the column name you have given there
okay so i have created and i'll just say okay and now what are we expecting as output once after we create the incident we, we will be getting an incident number which is unique so i am expecting incident number as the output so from this i'm going to take the number which i will be giving as instant number and i'm getting this incident so let me take an assign activity for taking the so and i'll write it back to the same csv make sure it's in the do yes i've just kept it untitled but name it uh, appropriate let's go ahead and try to execute this so if you see it has finished the execution in 29 seconds let's see the output it has to update my sheet with the instant numbers and here we go it has created all my incidents in just 29 seconds right so all these incidents have to be there on my service nav page so let's check it out so let's refresh this these are the incidents with all caller id of my name so all these incidents we have created just now so yes this is how we can create the incidents by using ui path on the service nav instance so going ahead we will see how we can update the incidents and get all the incidents